You've undoubtedly heard of the gold to silver ratio, but did you know that there are three separate gold to silver ratios out there? We are going to explore each of these and see if silver is a good buy. Coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. I've talked endlessly about the gold to silver ratio and how it could potentially help you acquire either more gold or more silver, depending upon how favorably it leans in one direction or another. I don't wanna get bogged down in the details of that again, but I figured it would be fun to physically show you these and to point out that there are actually three gold to silver ratios. The first being the natural ratio, the second, the above ground ratio, and the third being the price ratio. The natural ratio is the occurrence of gold and silver in the Earth's crust in relation to one another. I could get into the science of all of it and the parts per billion for each of these metals, but honestly, it would put the audience to sleep. So we're going to discuss it in full ounces. In the 1700s, this ratio was thought to be around 15 to one. This ratio means 15 ounces of silver in the Earth's crust for every one ounce of gold. More recent geological data puts us closer to eight to one. For every eight ounces of silver mined out of the Earth, one ounce of gold is mined. This means that gold is eight times more rare than silver in the Earth's crust. I put the above ground ratio at one to 3.5. One ounce of silver for every three and a half ounces of gold. Gold is treasured, silver is trashed. A little less than a billion ounces of silver is mined each year, but so much of it is used up for industry, only a few thousand ounces are left over as surplus. Gold is used in industry, but nowhere near to the level of silver. For all the uses of silver and how vital it is for humanity, check out the videos I have in the description. Since gold isn't used as much, and it's highly coveted, we can account for virtually every ounce mined. Unless we stop using silver to the extent that we are, we can expect this above ground number for silver to remain the same. This might seem contrary to what most people believe. I just told you that there is more silver in the Earth's crust than gold. Logically, there must be more silver above ground compared to gold. This would be true if silver wasn't gobbled up by the billions of ounces every year for industry. Just because it occurs in nature more frequently doesn't mean this will always be the case, especially as demand surges and mineable silver is becoming harder to find. The price ratio. You're probably more familiar with the gold to silver price ratio than anything else. If you were to Google gold to silver ratio, this is what would pop up. The gold to silver price ratio is the price of these metals in relation to spot price and one another. This is what people are focused on. The average gold to silver price ratio is 48 to one. It's been as low as 16 to one and as high as 120 to one. As of February 27th, 2022, this ratio is 78 to one, 78 ounces of silver for one ounce of gold. People can trade metals using this ratio and spot price. When this ratio is high as it is right now, it's advantageous to buy silver. When the ratio is low, it's better to trade for gold. If you take away anything from this demonstration, it is how undervalued silver has been over the years. If the natural occurrence of silver compared to gold is eight to one, why is its price ratio at 78 to one? Demand is the only logical answer. Demand for gold must be more than silver, right? Platinum is just as rare as gold, but the demand for it doesn't match golds. Hence, it's lower value. As an FYI, I don't agree with platinum's lower value compared to gold, but that's the reality at the moment. I've shown silver doesn't have a problem being popular. As the planet moves towards a more electrified future, demand will not cease on this metal anytime soon, but supply of this metal will eventually dry up. So what keeps its price so low compared to gold? I'll leave that question to the speculation experts, but at the very least, the situation with silver's price should raise an eyebrow or two. 
Your time is your most precious asset, and I appreciate you spending it with me. If you're interested in other topics like this one, check out the other videos I have on my channel. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.